have another Barnes Guide for doll collectors and gift givers alike featuring Gwen Tan. Her collection and the doll from the American Girl Girl of the Year 2022 collection. Plus, we're going to be comparing Gwen Tan to other Willy Wisher dolls. First up, we're going to start looking at Gwen in her box. Here is the front of her box. It says Girl of the Year 2022. It also says at the bottom the small print part of the Girl of the Year 2022 collection. And it says her name, Gwen Tan. I think she's adorable. I love the box art. And it matches Corinne's very nicely. It also matches her pajamas. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I think that was their theme in also their bedroom. Like kind of mountainy or glacier or ice. I feel like it, maybe. Yeah, I think so too. She's all strapped in. This is how Wally Wishers used to be box, and now they have a different box. Here she is out of the box, and she looks absolutely adorable in her outfit. Her outfit is just so cute. I wish they would sell her outfit separately. It's so girly and wintry. It's just gorgeous. She has this purple knit sweater on with this zigzag white pattern going across it. She's also got these really cool puffed sleeves and a little collar at her neck. I really like those small details because, you know, a knit sweater, it, you can put a lot of detail into it. I think it's adorable on her. I love that her theme of her collection is kind of pink and purples as well as a little bit of blue. She has this really cute, soft, fluffy skirt on. It's pink and it's got a clear American Girl tag. And a little button that does not work. It is elastic, the skirt, and the sweater velcros down the back. The zigzag pattern does not continue on the back, if you were wondering. Me personally, I think the skirt was a little short. Could have been a tad longer. I do like that it's fluffy, though. I think that would be really cool if they made a jacket like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm sure um, for little girls, they would let, love that. And down there you had purple boots that were little, they were very soft and it had really cool fur on the cuffs. And she has leggings. They are not tights, they are leggings, white leggings. So I think that's great that you can mix and match. All those pieces are separate. Really quick, this is her Welly Wisher logo that is below her little belly button. We just wanted to show this because it says nowhere on her box that she is a Welly Wisher, but below her belly button on the lower waist it says... It says W, and that's the logo that is on the Wally Wisher dolls. And she does have a hard body also. Just like Wally Wishers. Here, we wanted to quickly compare Gwen and Emerson. She is a Wally Wisher. Both of them have a very similar face, but completely different skin tones, completely different hair, and even, as we'll show more detail, like just different wig, different eyebrows will show lots of uh, close-ups. So first off, their faces. I feel like their faces look the same from what I can tell. Maybe Emerson's eyes are a bit smaller, but I'm not really sure. And I know for a fact though that Emerson is lighter than Gwyn. And I know that for a fact that Gwyn's wig is different from Emerson's. You can also tell by looking at their hands Gwen is a lot darker than Emerson. And they actually, I was very surprised when seeing them close together because I didn't realize how different they actually looked. I really thought it was the same doll. It was quite shocking to find that. Yeah, I'm mean, Emerson's more pinkish complected. Here we have Gwen and Emerson's eyebrows. We notice that Gwen's eyebrows are slightly longer and also you can see a better look at their face, another angle that they definitely do have different skin tones, even different lip color. I think they look completely different. They don't look like the same doll at all. Although they could look kind of twin-like almost. Mm -hmm. Like they do have the same like face shape in my opinion. Here I brought out Ashlyn because I was very curious to see how her wig looked next to Gwen's because Gwen has straight hair unlike Emerson who has like a wave or a curl to it. And Ashlyn has straight hair, just like the historical American Girl Julie doll. Gwen has the same exact hair right now. It's just kind of crimped because it was in two braids. I did take those two out. 
Another thing to notice is that in the front of her hair, she has kind of like a layer. But I looked in the back, it's only the front part. I'm not sure why. It's on both sides. She has sort of some hair cut. I'm not sure if that's just a defect with my doll or that's how all Gwyns are. I'm not sure at all. And also from the back, it looks like they're about the same length. Of course, Gwyn's hair looks a tad bit different because it was parted in two braids, so excuse the little part and the weird wave. But it looks way closer to Ashlyn's hair than actually Emerson's hair. You can even see just them standing together. It's, it's straight. Yeah, Emerson has a, um, a curl to it. So I think that was interesting that the wig looks completely different from Emerson's. Now we're going to look at the rest of Gwyn's collection. Here is Gwen's accessories. The retail price was $25. I think the, the favorite part for me of Gwen's accessories is the furry hat. I know, it's so adorable and soft. It has a nice elastic band. And that's nice because you can stretch it over the doll's head instead of trying to uh, force it on and messing up your doll's hairstyle. <laughs> I think that's great because some hats they're just stiff yeah and I love the colors the mint the purple the pink cute and it's all furry here's a drawstring bag sequence unfortunately it's not the mermaid sequence sequence that we can flip up that would have been fun yeah I think it would have been cool if it changed a different color but hey you know that's a another detail we probably would have had to pay more for <laughs> So it's really cool that the bag closes and you can put little items in there. I think of that course. is super cute. You need a water bottle to go to ice skating. And here are some gloves with uh, the fruit detail on the cuffs. I think that's a really cute detail. Another great thing about that backpack is if you ever, like, like if in the story the doll gets lost, you could find it from a mile away, you know, that shine. Oh, in the snow, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Flory could find it. I know, the little doggy. It's so sparkly and shimmery, I love it. I think AG needs to make more like bags like that. I think mm -hmm. that's cool. I love sparkle. Who doesn't, right? <laughs> Here we have the Welly Wisher Emerson modeling Gwen's meat outfit and the accessories. She switched it up and she decided to like have a little moment with the Gwen's clothes. She's like, I'll take that and borrow it. <laughs> And I love how the backpack sits on the doll. I think these accessories are great. No complaints. Especially about that hat. Oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. It has a button on there. It's non-functioning because the skirt is elastic like you mentioned previously. Yeah, I think it's just for details. I just love those little details. And I like how her mittens match with her skirt. Everything, even though it's kind of different and loud, it still matches. Here we have Gwyn's ice skating performance outfit. That retails for $28. It's super adorable. We have a velour velvety type feeling outfit. And you have these beautiful cherry blossom embroidery going down one shoulder. Same color scheme as the hat. you know. I know. It's, it's beautiful. Blue, mm -hmm. pink, lavender. But you know, ice skaters do have their uh, outfits made. So I wonder that that would I wonder if that that's included in the story. We haven't read that, but and uh, I love ice skating outfit. It has a little a full skirt, and then underneath is underwear that is attached as one piece. Another piece you get is these really nice tights, little American Girl tag in there. I think ice skating outfits are really cool in real life. Like I, some of them are really sparkly or just mm -hmm. beautiful in general. Agreed. Here you have these really nice purple sparkly skates. They don't have laces, they just have elastic, so it's easier to get on the doll's foot. No Velcro, just elastic. It wasn't hard to get it on the doll's foot either. Yeah, it was, it was simple. Which I think it should be, because this doll is supposed to be generated toward younger kids. And mm -hmm. the other AG dolls are sort of towards older kids. So I think it's important that everything is kind of easy to assemble or put on the doll. And I think they're really adorable. I love I love sparkles, as I said previously. <laughs> Here we have the skate garters. They protect the little blade. And they are pink sparkles. I like how there are small bits of silver sparkle on there. And they're rubbery. They kind of just slide. 
in the little slot over the skate blade. I also love how the skate blade is metal. It's not plastic. And it's just so real life, real life, real looking. It just looks like a human skate, but it's, you know, for dolls, it's straight down. One thing I did notice though is that if you don't put it on correctly, it will fall off. And sometimes, even though I did put it on correctly, it kind of fell off with like just moving it around or putting it, like sometimes moving it. So just kind of, you have to be gentle with that. Here is the hair clip that's included. It has a pink and purple flower. I think they're cherry blossom flowers, but I'm not sure. And they have two gems in the middle of each flower. We decided to have a Welly Wisher Ashlyn wear this outfit. She's modeling it. And she looks beautiful. I love the cherry blossom detail and and how the color scheme matches with her hat and you know with the blue and the mint and the purple and the pink. Yeah, because sometimes girl the year dolls, sometimes their color schemes are kinda all over the place. I just think You're it's right. interesting that Corinne and Gwyn have like a very similar theme of light colors or blues, pinks, purples, whites, like wintery colors or just light colors in general. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very interesting how AG took that. Next up is Gwyn's powder pink pajamas. The retail price the retail price for the, these PJs are $22. I love the pink, of course, and there's a little snowflake on the pocket. You could stick a, a tooth, little toothbrush in there. The faux buttons on the front. I like how they incorporated the yellow in there, kind of. Um, the diamond patterns kind of look like reflections off the snow, and it's really cool. Yeah, like diamonds or glaciers. Mm -hmm. And I also, it's interesting how they they kind of made this look different from our other items, but actually sort of similar to our hat and our ice skating outfit. It's yeah. kind of weird because there's an extra color in there. Still incorporating the purple, pink, blue. And I, and I love the detail of the ribbon on the bottom of the pajamas. I think that's really cute. I did love when American Girl does these small details in these little outfits. I know. And the soft little slippers with two little snowflakes, one on each. Really cute. And we put this on a little Glitter Girls doll. They were made by our generation. They're sort of similar to Welly Wishers, just a little bit different. They kind of have eyelashes and I think they're really adorable. I love this doll. She has pink hair and I think it goes well with these little pajamas. She looks adorable. I just love those slippers as well. I love the little embroidered snowflake, and I think I love it when they make fluffy things for the dolls, like mm -hmm. soft fur for the doll. It just it's so cute. Here they are, the two sisters together. We just kind of wanted to quickly show you what they look like together side by side. It's interesting because they're two completely different looking dolls, but they actually do look like sisters and very similar in different ways. Hopefully we'll have Corinne's review up soon, so stay tuned to our channel. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. What were your thoughts on Gwyn? Do you think she looks like one of the other Welly Wishers? We wanted to help you out just in case this was your first Welly Wisher, or if it was you already have other Welly Wishers in your collection. We just wanted to let you know that she is different. And I don't regret buying her because she is a part of the Girl of the Year 2022 collection. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell so you'll be notified when we do our next video. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. Bye. Bye bye everybody.